Hi, my name is Emma and I work at Confidex. Confidex supplies wireless technology solutions like RFID, but I am not a technical expert. I have to admit I don't know much about our products, but I would love to learn and now you can learn with me. I have selected a product, this blade tag, and I have also printed out a data sheet. These are available on our website for all Confidex products. And I have found someone to help me. This is Emmi Neilimo, product manager. And I'd like to ask you, if I have this data sheet, why should I still test the tag? Uh, we do design based on theoretical read ranges, test also uh, the real ones, but it's always upon the application. Radio ma magnetic waves, they get reflections in the real environment. This product where the tag is attached to, that affects the product operation. So it's really important to test on that object that will be used or on a very similar obje object. So where for it example, used. this is metal. So. This is metal, so please test on metal. And then again the environment, you have here now walls, mm -hmm. the earth waves, they are reflected here somewhat. You have here also objects which are metal, they will have a clearly an impact. Okay, so the real material and some possible obstacles. Yes. yes. Okay, then again if you want to convert tags to each other, then again I would go outside. Uh, where you don't have any walls closed, any cars on the parking lot or anything, because those affect as well. So going to an open space would give you a possibility to compare tags to each other. Okay, so when comparing tags to each other, there should be no interruptions. Yes. And is it enough if I only test one tag? It tells you already the most, but not everything. There is small okay. variation between the tags, so I would recommend few tags to test minimum. Can I attach another one? Please this do. Same object? Please okay. do, but please be aware. If you have an application where the tags are close to each other, but they are really in a few centimeters distance, they start to affect each other's. So in that kind of application, I would really test that case. Does it make a difference what kind of reader I use for testing? Yes, and a lot. We have different kind of regulations in the world. We have different kind of powers which we can use. Then devices have different selections for maximum power. They have different read ranges. They are also different sensitivities. So first of all, we have a handheld device, uh, which mostly are a bit with shorter read ranges than the fixed readers, which are mostly gates. Uh, and that, again, if you have a gate set up, please test with that, then you get the real read range. Okay. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of information in the data sheet. So against which data should I perform the testing? Okay, uh, first of all we start with the read range. What is uh, here mentioned that you have up to read ranges on metal and up, up to read ranges on plastic. Okay, and this is what I use? Yes, you can use that one. And okay. also we have defined for this particular one what is liquid container read range. So as you see it's different on different materials. Yes. So for this uh, tag example we have designed it for all surfaces and it's optimized on metal. So you can use it on all surfaces, but the best read range is gained on metal. One question. Yes. Is this a metal object or a liquid container? That's a good one. <laughs> it's actually uh, the uh, outermost uh, defines now it's metal. Okay. So metal makes a Faraday's cage and what is inside the tag doesn't yes. see it. So okay. it's metal in this case. Okay, so the liquid containers are usually something, some other material? Uh, yes, they are then plastic. Plastic doesn't oh. uh, cancel the waves okay. there inside the object, so... That's very interesting. That's <laughs> a good point to highlight. What we need to highlight as well is orientation. So it has a radiation pattern. Mm -hmm. It doesn't radiate to any direction. Okay. So uh, in this case it's an on-metal tag attached to on-metal and it will radiate apart from the metal. 
The best street range for this tag is gained in the straight line. So if you're trying to read the tag from behind, from behind. you will have troubles. Yes. It can have due to the building walls some some signal, but you will have a weak one. Okay. It doesn't read true metal. Okay, understood. Just keeping in mind, you will have a right range as well. So writing to the tag is a heavier operation and that will need more more power. Okay. And that's why you will have a shorter range. Okay, so you have to be closer yes, to the and tag. That is something to, to test. If that's a rele relevant scan area in your use case, that you write all the time something to the tag, please test separately the write range. Okay. And can you do that with this same? Yes. Reader. Yes. They have also write functions all the readers, so oh, okay. that's no problem. And one addition which I would highlight to the, uh, from the data sheet is the installation instructions. So to optimize the tag in the use, you will have here instructions where to attach non metal, where do you gain the best read range, and what kind of if it's also curved surface, should you put it uh, horizontally or vertically, or which is the best. So there will be guidance in the data sheet. And how should I hold this test trigger? Yes, Some there's time. a trigger. <laughs> and then again, the maximum performance is in most tags in the uh, straight line from the tag. So opposite to the tag, you should start reading. Now we have placed the tags in the way. Also, the reader reads the best. So they are in horizontal line, and this is also the same way position. And how long shall I pull this trigger? Just a short pull in this distance okay. will be enough. And you see what is the uh, code. We have now encoded the tags for simplicity. And that is in all, most applications as well. There is a code, visual code on top of the tag and we will find it here. As an EPC, electronic, electronic code. Okay. Okay, now you have number one and number three there on top. So you, you should select their number one and Number so three this is number one? Yes. Number three. So now okay. you should start looking for the read ranges. There is a locate tag function in many readers. We can make it simpler and start. So now you see when the tag is read, you see a mark and how, how close to the tag you are. You can go further and go closer to the tag so you see the tag in operation. Just to check the maximum polarization, you can just check is the read range in which orientation the best. Okay. Perfect. If you have a global application, the read range needs to be tested in both Etsy and FCC, for example, is the most common combination. So you need to see what is the read range in both frequency regions. What I learned today were the best practices to test Confidex products. Number one, test multiple tags attached in different angles. Number two, test in the real environment. And number three, please consider the tag features and the changing elements in the real environment. Thank you. See you next time.